sitting in my room trying to write a poem that I've been trying to write for months. And for some reason, I still can't find the right words to use that will make you understand what it is I'm trying to say. It's 9.05 and I'm thinking of my favorite book and the reaction you gave me after you read it for the very first time. You turned to me wide-eyed and said, this book is so sad. And I laughed and said, of course, it wouldn't be so great if it wasn't. You see, most award-winning stories are sad. More than likely, they're tragedies. But they don't get an award for being labeled a tragedy, no. They get an award for every last smile, twist, and turn that came before the tears. The kind of stories that, when you're reading them, you find yourself filled with hope for a whole new ending. I mean, here's to the people who are still rooting for Romeo and Juliet. You're all! It's 9.15, and I bet you're out in your car looking for a person or a place, maybe a place like Albuquerque, that will make you feel something. Because that one person that does make you feel makes you feel nothing but pain. And I'm sorry about that. We may not have a say in how much pain we get in this world, but we sure as hell have a say in how much we put out there. And I'm so sorry that I was ever the cause of yours. But I guess this is how all great stories turn out. They're filled with love and joy and hope, all the hope you hung on to. And suddenly it's taken away, and you're left with tears and this horrible ending that you wish so badly you could rewrite. But at the same time, given the chance, you wouldn't rewrite any of it because a different ending would only flaw the story. It's 924, and if you're still rooting for Romeo and Juliet, give it up. No, because no. the fact yes. is, they died. Yes. They love each other so much, they died. Yes. And if that's what loving someone so much is like, I don't want any of it. <laughs> Not every love story has a happy ending. Shakespeare has taught us that, and I'm pretty sure most of us have learned that on our own. The truth of the matter is every love story ends with a tragedy, and that is why every love story is such a great one to tell. It's 9.32 and I still have so many things I wish I could tell you. And as much as I want to tell you these things, I cannot risk altering the course of our story, a story that ended a long time ago, even before we really knew it did. It's tragic, really, how things end. Books, stories, love, life. But as I sit here and finish this poem full of words I didn't even know I wanted to say, I realize it's probably for the best. It's 9.38, and you are not my Romeo, and I never wanted you to be.